Hi, my name is Rebecca Salt. I'm 29 years old. I live in Sunnyville and I'm addicted to crying. I have been crying now for five years and I don't plan on stopping. The crying makes me feel awful. I hate when I'm crying. But when I'm done, I feel like a weight has been taken off of my shoulders. When I wake up in the morning, I go to the mirror and I have what I call my night tears. My night tears are tears that I didn't get to release due to sleep. Um, I collect my tears in a vial. I then add my tears to my cleansing tear bath that I have every day. Um, this is a bath filled with my tears, my genuine 100% tears of sadness. When I cry in the bath, I let the tears just fall into the bath. I also have my onions here in case I need a boost. My favorite way to cry is to use these little menstrual pads um, and I put them under my eyes like this. And then I put the big one under my chin to catch any strays. My nose does tend to drip a lot, so you just stick a little tamps in it. Okay. And then I just let it out. It does hurt, especially the nose, but it allows me to cry without the wetness, you know, without the discomfort of water. So, you know, I call it my dry cry. Today is a big day for me because I'm going to be telling my neighbor about my addiction. I really need to tell him so we can be on TV. Rebecca just knocked on my door out the blue and said, do you want to be on TV? And I said, sure, I always wanted to be on TV. Neighbor, there's something that I've been meaning to tell you. It's my biggest secret. Oh no. Are are you attracted to me? What? No. No. Yes, but that's not what I came here to say. Are Are you pregnant? No, I'm a virgin. Then, then what is it? Just tell me now, enough games. I am addicted to... crying. You're what? I cry every morning, every day, and every night. No, Rebecca. No, we can't be. That's a lie. It can't be. I was afraid you would say that. See? That's okay, Rebecca. I'll still accept you. So what if she wears those pain liners, those menstrual pads, those sponges under her eyes? I don't care. She's my neighbor. I support her all her choices. I'm just, I'm so relieved that my neighbor 
still accepts me for who I am, I'm going to be very happy from now on.